7 Reasons Why Moving to Silicon Valley is a Bad Idea Recently, one of the famous Russian bloggers, Yuri Dud, made a documentary about Silicon Valley. In that documentary, a few Russian-speaking immigrant entrepreneurs tell benefits of moving to Silicon Valley. After watching that documentary, Pavel Durov decided to share his opinion and experience about the idea of moving to the United States. Entrepreneurs in the documentary focus only on the positive side of moving to Silicon Valley, no words on negative sides. Before we get started, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet. We make videos about economy, entrepreneurs, innovation, technology, tech companies and their founders, and a little bit of history. To start with, who is Pavel Durov? Pavel Durov is an entrepreneur from Russia. He is a founder of Vkontakte and Telegram. Vkontakte is a social network, more like Facebook. It's based in St. Petersburg, Russia. It has 530 million registered users as of April 2020. Telegram is a cloud-based instant messenger like WhatsApp. It has 400 million active users. Here are the seven reasons why you shouldn't move to Silicon Valley, according to Pavel Durov. Number one, police state. Despite its image of country of freedom, the United States actually is a tough police state. The number of prisoners in the United States is 10 times higher than Germany, Finland or Netherlands. One of those entrepreneurs who were interviewed in the documentary suffered from organized surveillance and unjust treatment by US law enforcement. Telegram team also faced FBI pressure during their trip to San Francisco in 2016. Number 2. An accessible healthcare. Healthcare system is inefficient and expensive. That's why most tech immigrants go to Eastern Europe for treatment, because it's cheaper there. Among developed countries, US is in top spot in obesity. Possible reasons for that are A. Poorly regulated food industry, B. Stress, and C. Poor eating habits or maybe just culture. Number 3. Limited social life. Silicon Valley consists of a few villages with very limited social activities. The closest city, San Francisco, is not a megapolis either, with a high crime rate and lots of homeless people. Pavel Durov was attacked in the middle of the day at the city center. Number 4. Mediocre secondary education, pre-college education. United States is in 38th place in math education among other 79 developed countries. International Computer Programming Olympiad winners from United States are actually ethnic Chinese students who got their education in China and moved to United States. Despite that, they still take first place in those competitions less than Russians or Chinese. Number 5. High taxes. Successful residents of California give more than half of their earnings to their state. US is the only country where you are expected to pay your taxes even if you leave the country. In some cases, giving up on your citizenship doesn't stop them to collect tax from you. Taxes are a lot lower in Eastern Europe and almost zero in countries like United Arab Emirates. Number 6. Development cost. It is expensive to run a high-tech business from Silicon Valley. Immigrant entrepreneurs even themselves don't hire local programmers. Local programmers are spoiled, they lack focus, they are also bombarded with other ideas and offers. As a result, immigrant entrepreneurs prefer to work with programmers and designers from Eastern Europe. Number 7. Weak market perspective in 21st century. The American internet is heavily regulated and Americans represent only 4% of the world population. Even 10 or 20 years ago, it seemed that all global projects could be launched only from Silicon Valley. 
and that was justified. At that time, United States had the largest single internet market. It was easy to launch projects such as YouTube and Instagram from Silicon Valley. Today, most successful social media companies launched outside of United States. India is the largest open internet market, not United States. Conclusion If you want to run a tech business, Eastern Europe might be the best place. Freedom and human rights are better protected in Central and Northern Europe. Economic growth in 21st century is concentrated in Asia. US still keep existing entrepreneurs, luring them with cheap money from investors. But moving to United States at the moment is like buying a property at the peak of the market.